Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. Sorry that I've been away for a bit, uh, doing, I was mostly running errands this afternoon and all that, because I wasn't able to work due to the fact that it rained, and it's been raining a lot here where I'm at through most of this weekend, or not weekend, uh, this week, I should say, <laughs> uh, I'm saying it wrong, so please forgive me, but I'm returning to you for a special video, and this is to address the situation between Machine Gun Kelly and Corey Taylor from Slipknot, and also the band itself that I guess Machine Gun Kelly criticized. So I'm going to discuss what I'm going to be talking about in this special video and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this review or this video I meant to say. See, I'm starting to slip up a bit, so please forgive me on that. But yeah, um, pretty much Machine Gun Kelly said something that triggered the Slipknot community. And also, Corey Taylor, the lead singer from Slipknot, he got triggered by that. He finally responded to what MGK had to say because he got butt hurt that he wasn't a uh, part. Corey Taylor wasn't in one of his songs, and he turned him down. And now he's going and bashing them, saying. I'd rather, I'd rather not be in a room or whatever he said. He said something about uh, he'd rather not be around people who wear who are in their fifties and wear fucking masks or something like that. I don't know for sure. You'll have to remind me in the comment section below what he actually said, but he said something about. Uh, you want to know what's weird? Seeing uh, 50-year-olds wearing masks, creepy-ass masks. That's Slipknot's gimmick. That is what they're known for. This is what they go for. And the heavy metal genre. Yeah, the masks can be a bit creepy, but they're very creative, honestly. They're very talented guys, too. And they seem like really cool guys, and this is a band I really want to meet, for sure. And, yeah, I've had my opinions on Corey Taylor's solo work that I reviewed last year. I wasn't a huge fan of the last, the debut s studio album from Corey Taylor, CMFT. But there were some songs I could appreciate from it, but I wouldn't call it my favorite, in my opinion. And that's just my opinion alone. You don't have to agree with me on it. It's just how I felt when I was listening to CMFT last year. And that album's almost a year old now, honestly. But, yeah. I think Machine Gun Kelly is just a hothead. And he's just bitching about stupid crap. And, oh, poor me. I wanted him in a song. But now, he didn't get a chance to be in that song because he turned him down he was being nice and respectful and machine gun kelly just turned did a 180 and said fuck you to Corey taylor so i'm like you done fucked up because he's got the receipts on you bro uh because no at the end of the day i think machine gun kelly really fucked up and he should have watched, been a little careful with what he said. And that's just what I believe. If you guys support Machine Gun Kelly, that's fine. But after hearing Tickets to My Downfall, I have not really come back to that album that much. It was, yeah, I found the music to be good. But I don't like him personally, because he's a hothead. And he started... Problems with Conor McGregor, the UFC fighter. And I'm like, oh my god, you are a dumbass for starting a fight with a UFC fighter. Because that's just plain stupid. 
Uh, so Machine Gun Kelly seems like an asshole, unfortunately. And there's going to be a lot of those out there. But I just think it's bullshit. Because this is just stupid drama, unfortunately. And Machine Gun Kelly really needs to reevaluate himself and just be careful what you say, bro. Because it could come back and haunt you. And Corey Taylor's not the person you want to fuck with. Because he, he's good with clapbacks. So, yeah. <laughs> but definitely comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of this special video on uh, the Machine Gun Kelly situation. Between Machine Gun Kelly versus Corey Taylor. And I'm for Corey Taylor because I've been following Slipknot longer than I have Machine Gun Kelly. So... I would choose Slipknot any day. He just criticized them and talked shit about them. And I'm like, you're a dumbass for doing that. Because you know Corey Taylor's not going to let that one go. So he's going to get on your shit. Pretty much. And if you did like this, uh, I guess, this versus uh, talk or whatever. The Machine Gun Kelly versus... Of Corey Taylor incident thing comment below and let me know your thoughts on it I don't know what I'm gonna title it but I'll let you know what I decide to tap like on this video if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you can support the channel I will be returning to you for another video it's probably gonna be a premiere video tonight sometime um, I don't know when but I'll let you know what I decide to do but pretty much, I think Machine Gun Kelly fucked up big time. And if there are supporters of Machine Gun Kelly, really think about who you're supporting. Because honestly, you know he's in the wrong. And that's just what I believe. I'm not trying to force you to, well, maybe I am a bit. And I don't mean to be forceful on people. but. It's pretty much be careful what you say. Because we're living in a time where you, if you have an opinion about someone or whatever, you could get shot or really fucked up or get your ass beat. Because peop, some people nowadays are pretty crazy. Uh, just not everyone, just... If you watch the news and all that, you see a lot of deaths and all that, and it's really fucked up. But, I don't want to go into topic about the news and all that, because the news always depresses me, honestly. But, uh, because of the shit they show on there almost every day about something negative. There are a few positives, but you rarely see the positive in the news and all that only rarely but and also i did want to address something real quick uh before i end this video king of lines c45 go fuck yourself you need help um that's all i'm gonna say there's a reason why because he called me out and i don't want to have to deal with people who act childish honestly cuz yeah he's just I don't wanna be suckered into any more drama anymore I just wanna keep it about the music and some music talk and other things but yeah I've been friends with that guy too long and I just ended friendships with him I think last night or the other night, yeah, last night, I believe, I just, I was having a talk with him, and I just found out how much of a POS he is, meaning piece of shit, so, yeah, go fuck yourself, King of Lions, E45, because I'm done with you, um, that's all I gotta say, 
but pretty much I will return to you for the Wednesday versus video. It's going to be premiered at midnight. And yeah, I just wanted to give you a talk on something that I'm personally going through. And yeah, my mental health has been iffy. It's been on and off where it's eh, and then where it's not bad. Which meaning I'm doing a little better, but yeah, I'll let you know uh, what videos I'm doing tonight, give you an update, but stay safe, take care, hopefully you enjoyed this ranty-ish video slash addressing a certain individual, and I'll see you in my next video.